CBS 4, covering Colorado first. This Friday, police will be out in force for the annual holiday DUI enforcement, but CDOT is hoping impaired drivers will use a new tool before getting behind the wheel. We're talking about personal breathalyzers. Jamie Leary on that story live in Denver tonight. Jamie, CDOT says these devices are already making a difference. They have worked, and this time CDOT wanted to test it on high-risk groups, meaning first-time DUI offenders. Many volunteered. CDOT wanted to know how the device impacted their behavior, and if they used it at a bar, let's say, CDOT wanted to get that data off of their phone, so it was logged onto a phone and sent to CDOT. We wanted to know what the participants thought. Rolled the car three and a half times off two cliffs and ended up in the river. Wade Trujillo will never drink and drive again. Got pulled out by a pedestrian that was that I would... I cut off as I was driving down the canyon like an idiot. His one and only DUI at age 17 qualified him for CDOT's new breathalyzer program. It promoted the effort this summer at a Rockies game in a pretty public way. All of these people, they thought they were okay to drive. You blew a .116. Is that what you're anticipating? Uh, no, not in the slightest. Six weeks ago, 475 first time DUI offenders. They were given the smartphone breathalyzers. For Trio, a 200 pound guy, the results after using the pocket size gadget were eye opening. I was quite surprised after one and a half, two IPAs. I felt like I was in control, I was able to drive. But he wasn't. And more than 90% of the first time offenders participating in this program, they agreed that owning a breathalyzer has helped them avoid drinking and driving. Trio is definitely sold. You will think twice about drinking and driving. I see that said one of the concerning parts that did come back in this study was that many of the participants knew about the 0.08 legal limit for a DUI, but they didn't know that over 0.05 will get you a DUAI, driving while ability impaired, and that can run you a fine of up to $1,500 and up to a year in jail. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. All right, Jamie, thank you.